What's up, everyone? We just wrapped up the semifinals here in DC. Let's go around the league. It didn't take long for the intensity to heat up in this first matchup. Michael Sowers came in hot, scoring in the first 52 seconds of the game, followed by another one. Sowers, look at the quickness, and he gets the second of the game. It wouldn't be long, though, before the Whip Snakes responded with three unanswered goals to take the lead. Sowers stepped back in for a hat trick and to tie the game, but these two teams went head to head before goals by Jake Bernhardt and Zed Williams put the Whips up 6 4 headed into the half. Zed, he'll take a jump shot and score a lot of power behind that shot. The underdog Kieran McArdle once again stepped up for his team with two goals, including the game winner for the 11 to 10 win. And it's Kieran McArdle on the far side. This Water Dogs team has been the only one to beat the Whip Snakes this season. The Water Dogs punched their ticket to Philly, and this will be the first time in league history the Whip Snakes will not be playing for the championship. Uh, wow! Oh, <laughs> wow! That one feels good. Feels real good. But uh, we we still got one more, so we got to uh, you know celebrate this one a little bit and and right back to it. In the Chaos Archers matchup, Matt Moore got the Archers on the board first, but it was the Chaos's creativity and firepower that got going quickly right after that goal. Scoop shot, no, 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 no. Chris Cluche had a first half hat trick with each goal being more impressive than the previous carrying that chaos offense and putting them up 4-2 heading into the half. The second half saw Kyle Jackson extending the chaos's lead, but the Archers weren't out of it just yet. Goals by Marcus Holman and Trey LeClaire made it a one-point game until goals by Dane Smith and another by Kyle Jackson gave him a hat trick and chaos a three-point lead. Dane Smith right on the doorstep, no chance for Gittleman. And in the final seconds, it was a save by Blaze Rear and Shorts as well as an incredible athletic ability in that cage that saved a Tom Schreiber two bomb and sent the chaos to Philly for the championship. Is it in? No. It's in his pants. It's in his pants. It's in his shorts. Blaze couldn't find it. He's stopping every shot every way possible. Oh. All right, time for a champion of the weekend. Who's yours, Alicia? Mine goes to Dylan Ward, who went 63% and had 17 saves today. It was his most saves this season, and with a team that has faced tons of adversity with injuries, his efforts were big in helping to beat the number one whip snake. Long shot, Ward makes the save. My champion of the weekend is going to cast goalie Blaze Reardon, 75% in the first half, 13 total saves on the day. He talked about the final moment that sent the chaos to Philly. I tracked the ball, it, it skipped last minute. I felt it up the back of my shorts, so I knew I didn't want to fall into the net because uh, if the ball crosses the goal line, obviously it's a goal. And just a cherry on top, defense played great. They forced them to shoot at 18-yarder. That's my job to save it, and it happened, and here we are. And for our moment of the weekend, on 9-11 in the nation's capital, we honored those who made the ultimate sacrifice, including Wells Crowther. Wells' mom spoke with a number of players and fans during the game, and then also the first 1,000 fans got this bandana honoring Wells. It was a really special moment and special day. Looking ahead, the Water Dogs are in the championship game for the first time. And the Chaos are looking to repeat in Philly. Yep, but leading into that fate of a sport is airing on ABC from one to three, and then... Championship game. So grab your popcorn, sit on the couch next Sunday. It's championship time. We will see you there. That means you have to get your tickets. Where's Down below. Tickets.com. And see you in Philly. Woo!